Okay, let's install some of the mods. We'll set up our server first. We have our server. All installed, ready to go. Make sure it's stopped. Very important. Close that down. Go to FileZilla. Wanna <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, you wanna go to your drive, FileZilla, wherever your games are. Mine are on me dream E drive, but they're usually on people's C drive. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy Workshop. In there you'll have your mods from the Steam Workshop. You want to highlight the three dots on the right. Go over to CF. Right click on CF and then hit Upload. Let that upload. Then scroll down on the panel on the right. Go to the Keys folder. Go to the panel on the left. Open CF. Open the Keys folder. Click on the three dots again. And right click on the key. And upload that. You want to back out both pages. You want to take the name, we copy that. You go to your server, hit on general, and hit on expert mode. Activate expert mode and save. Now you want to scroll down in general, go down to the bottom, hit on the mods line, paste in CF, and put in the semicolon. Hit, ch hit save. That should be that mod. You want to go back to FileZilla. Hit on the three dots again. Scroll down to Community Online Tools. Right click on it. And hit Upload. Now, scroll back down on the panel on the right. Go to your Keys folder again. Back over to Community Online Tools. Open it. Keys. About the same keys. Jacob Mango. We'll just copy it over anyway. Upload. Yes, all right. Back up out them. We want to go back up to Community Online Tools. On our left click and then right click. Rename. And remove all the dashes and spaces in the naming of the mod. It's very important you do that. You want to right click and left click again, go down to rename, right click, copy. You want to go out there, back to your server, scroll back down on the general page, and paste the mod name in after CF, followed by a semicolon. Save changes. There we go. Now we want to go to Expert Settings. In here you can change the settings for your server. Oh. We just put something in quickly. Verify signatures, just guarantee, guarantees that we have the same PBOs for the mods and that, so people aren't using different mods and stuff. Force the same build. Uh, voice over network codec quality, so that's your voice in-game quality. 
that disables the voice over network so that disables the chat in game chat third person perspective disable crosshair just turns on and off the crosshair on your screen server time system time this affects the time in which you want the server to be set at. i just go with system time or you can set your own time in there if you want it and they a server time acceleration that goes by a 1 to 24 basis so if you set it to 24 a day in the game will be an hour we leave that uh, as it is at the moment time persistence is if you want the server to remember what time you left at when when the server resets so if you leave at a specific time and you don't want to come back in and it to be a random time you put that to one and the, and the server the server will remember save what time it was and then put you back in at the same time of day guaranteed updates just updates i'm not quite sure what that does but i don't ever i've never looked into it current players many players can be waiting processing the log while, while they're waiting to join queued players instance id most of them tell you what they are Not quite sure what that does. Blue history one. Storehouse don't don't know most of that shit. That that will help if you have a lot of issues with doors and things on your map. Put that to true and I think it does something with the snapping or something. Not quite sure. Not quite sure about the half of it. Oh fix one, there's your mission name right there. And we'll come back to that in a while because we'll have to put the expansion mission in. You got the server logs down, the port. We go down, we'll turn on the log admin log player list. There we go. We'll save that. So we can see the name of the server. Come on now, save never tell if it saves properly or not not giving you a notification seems very slow You want to make sure that your server is visible so when you go looking for it hide from global server sentence or you can add it to the global server sentence you want to make sure you hit on that or you, you'll never find the server when you're looking for it we go back to our server we've installed those two mods we'll start the server the server right there that's the two mods on that in a minute. It's all loading up. Back out of that now. We know the mods are loading. to the 
and say over again. We'll just double check. CF, make sure it's working in cot. I want to go to the, shut the server down quickly. Go to the file browser. They see standalone. Scroll down to the config folder. We wait till it stops. We have permissions framework folder. Players. And that is us after joining. All you do to make yourself admin, click into it. Take the word everyone. And make it admin. Scroll down. Save. Go back, start the server. Go back to our launcher. Has loaded the mods. <laughs> there we go. Jump back in, make sure COT is working properly. Community Online Tools. Just want to verify each mod is installed properly before I install another one. Tools has been toggled on. There's community online tools working. You get camera tools, ESP, item set, map, object spawner, weather, it's all pretty self explanatory there. And here you can go into your player, you can highlight them, you can teleport me to a place or I can teleport someone to me if I highlight them on the left. I can teleport to the previous place. I can set coordinates and teleport to the coordinates. Gives you all their stats there. You can put god mode, make the hands bleedy, freeze, unlimited ammo. There's your, your roles. And permissions. Be safe to leave all them as is. I don't think repair transport works. It might refuel it in that moment, but it doesn't refuel that. Uh, repair damage. Spectate on someone. Stop bleeding, heal, and clear their inventory, which will clear everything they have on. Leave your butt naked. What else? ESP is if you want to see objects around you, you highlight them there. That's the distance. You can set it up to a thousand meters. Enable full ESP, if you enable that, you're going to have to exit the game to end full ESP, so you, you're better off not using it really, I find. A map, map's a bit glitched out, it'd be better when we put expansion on. Anywhere you want to go, you just double left click on the mouse button and then teleport to it. Object spawn or something you want to spawn in. Firearms, clothing, food, AI. You can type it in in the bottom. So, combat knife. Combat knife, you can spawn it on yourself or you can spawn it on the Corsa. Do 
do that with anything proxy anything with name proxy in, in the in the title of it don't use it it's, I think that's prototype but I'm not quite sure I haven't asked anybody to know for sure anything with proxy in it or if you see firearms firearms that look <laughs> like they're glitched out like they're shooting if you use mods or anything and you see any of them they look like they're already shooting there you go there's one like that seem, it se seems to be still work in progress so you don't want to spawn stuff like that in there's another one left you want to avoid spawning that stuff in probably kick you out vehicle spawner weather you can change the weather make it wet you can make it any time of day change the date if you want to make it earlier in the year oh well didn't mean to do that more in the spring pretty self-explanatory we'll back it and do expansions that's community online too that's working next one is expansions <laughs>